Welcome to yet another Python programming video from your GK Buddy. In this video, we are going to provide a solution to one of the programming exercises in the CBSC Computer Science Class 11 textbook. The question is, write a program that prints the minimum and maximum of five numbers entered by the user. In this video, we are going to demonstrate two methods to solve this problem. The first method uses a list and a for loop to solve the problem. So let's head straight to the Python code for method one. The first statement is to accept five numbers from the user, convert those numbers into integers and store them in a list. Num list here is a list in which the numbers input by the user will be stored. You can see the square brackets here. The contents of a list are displayed within square brackets. Input displays Please enter a number on the screen, waits for the user to enter the input. And once the user enters the input, it will be converted into an integer by the int function and stored in the variable numList, which is a list. Now comes the for loop. This for loop is for controlling the number of inputs from the user. In our case, we need only five numbers. So we are saying for i in range 5, which means that the input message will be displayed on the screen five times. The input will be accepted from the user five times and those five numbers will be stored in the variable num list. The next step is to initialize the variables largest and smallest. The largest will store the largest number in the list. The smallest will store the smallest number in the list and we are initializing them with numlist within square brackets 1, which is the first element of the list numlist or the first input given by the user. Now, the next step is to read each number in the list, check with the largest whether it is larger or smaller than the largest, check with the smallest whether it is larger or smaller than the smallest and then act accordingly. Let's look at the for loop. I represents each element in the list. After reading each element in the list, it will be checked with the largest. If the element in the list is larger than the largest, then the value of the largest will be changed to the value of the element. So largest will be equal to i. If the element is smaller than the smallest, then smallest will be made equal to i and the loop continues till the last element is read and verified. Then after the last element is read and checked, the control comes to the print statement. In the print statement, the maximum of five numbers in the list is equal to will be displayed. And after that, the value stored in the variable largest will be displayed. Then before the next text, you can see slash n, which is the new line character. The new line character prints this line below the first line. So the minimum of five numbers in the list is equal to will be printed below the first line and the values stored in the variable smallest will be printed against that. Let's see whether this program runs properly. So let's click on run, run module. Please enter a number. So let me enter 567. Let me enter 0, then minus 445. One more number. So the maximum of five numbers in the list is obviously it's a huge number and the minimum of five numbers in the list is minus 445. So the program runs correctly. Now let's go to the second method, which is easier than this one. In the second method, for accepting the input, we are using the same statement that we used in the first method. The for loop here will make the input function display this message five times, accept input from the user five times, and then every time the input will be converted into an integer and will be stored in a variable num list, which is of the type list. After the statement is executed, we get five numbers which will be stored in a list called num list. As we see, the num list is a list that contains only numbers. To find the maximum of the numbers in the variable num list, we can use the max function. So max num list will give the maximum of the numbers in the num list. Similarly, you can use the min function on 
num list to get the minimum of all the numbers. The print function displays this text, maximum of five numbers in the list equals, and against that, the maximum of the values stored in num list will be displayed. Then the minimum of five numbers in the list is equal to will be printed below this line and against this min num list will be printed. Let's check whether this program runs properly. Click on run, run module, enter a first number. Let me enter minus 766, minus big number, then 776. So it says the maximum of five numbers in the list is 244, 545. Obviously, this is the largest number. And the minimum of five numbers in the list is minus 3,777. Amongst the negative numbers, this is the smallest. We can see that the program executes correctly. Hope you found this video useful. If you want solution to any specific problem, please enter that in the comment section. We value your feedback a lot. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you love the videos in our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you again with yet another Python programming video. Have a great day.